good morning guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new please consider subscribing at the end of this video and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today i'm coming at you with a unboxing a smeg unboxing <laughs> it's the 19th of may and yesterday um twitter was on fire over smeg appliances it was the worst thing i've ever seen um and the funniest so yeah here i am today um unboxing smeg appliances i have two orders that i received yesterday um and i'm going to start with the brabantia or brabantia i don't know how to pronounce it i ordered some stuff from brabantia brabantia and they came in yesterday i've already opened the boxes so it's just some jars that i actually like because i have one that i bought a while back i think last year or 2018 and i enjoyed using it so i decided to just buy um three more uh, because i like them and yeah they work yeah well these are the the, the jars they were on sale on the Probantia website and i decided to to buy them but if i were to warn you guys um sometimes because i had them on my wish list on on yapi chef but then out of nowhere i just thought let me check out the Brabantia um, website and i found that they were actually much cheaper and fortunate for me there was they were also on sale so sometimes when you are like me <laughs> and you like your p-chef too much try to step out of the comfort zone and look at other options so yeah that's how i saved some money so basically it's a jar about 1.5 liters uh, in capacity and then it's got measurements there of your like if you make if you're measuring risotto rice couscous and so on so that that's how you this is the the cup for measuring your food and this seal here keeps the air outside and the lid tight so yeah i like it on the website that said this is pink but for me it looks a bit orange but i like it i like this color so yeah i've got three of that and a garlic crusher or a garlic mincer whatever it is called i got a red garlic mincer which was also on say 30 percent off i'm not sure i like this <laughs> it's a bit on the basic side but um i think i i i don't know i'm not sure i like this anyway so that's my garlic crusher because sometimes i get tired of chopping garlic with knives i know how to mince garlic with knives but sometimes i don't wanna so i bought a garlic mincer so yeah or garlic crusher and sometimes you want to just psh, uh, crush and go you know so that's why i got this I, i'm not really fascinated by i feel like it's a it's a lazy design uh, it's just basic even the plastic doesn't feel nice <laughs> you know so but i'm gonna use it I don't want to take it back and i also got a soup ladle a soup ladle yeah so that's my soup ladle i never really have had a soup into um ladle before because i never made soups until recently 
so yeah this is a good addition to my kitchen equipment so yeah that's what i got from the bar bra 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 branch yeah. oh. now we go to yapi chef i only remember buying one thing i did buy one thing is by smack story <laughs> so uh, guys you will have to understand uh, apparently according to the twitter wall that happened yesterday uh, it's it's a bit impossible to have a smack and not post it <laughs> the other twitter tweet said smack products or smack appliances always like find whenever you shoot something in the kitchen uh, they always turn themselves around and find the angle <laughs> so that the logo is is facing the camera so yeah when you see my smack you just know i'm i'm also living the smack life um when you see my smack in the posts so you must know <laughs> i've wanted this since last year after attending a salad course at um, Leaf, uh, chef's academy that day we learned how to make um mayonnaise and i'm like oh that mayo is nice nothing you've ever tasted before and it took like two minutes and the chef that was teaching us how to do it said you need a blender so this is a blender um you need a blender to do it so i put it on my wish list and in fact, I didn't put the smeg one. I just started thinking about blenders. I'm like, am I gonna have a blender just for my baking mayonnaise fella? <laughs> so I needed to be convinced. That's why I'm only getting it now. So over time, I learned how to make soups. Um, I learned how to make soups. There's some a couple of recipes where I would be like, ah. This one needs a blender because you'd have to just make a paste or something like that. So, yeah, I've eventually um, convinced myself that I want it. Um, and I mm -hmm. want the smeg wine because it's photogenic. <laughs> and um, what else? The funniest thing is that on the morning that I decided to... To buy it uh, there's a page called the financial diet where they talk about all things finance how to like also a bit of mental um, health around peer pressure and stuff so uh, there was a post that they, they they put up and one of the things they said things they listed things that um, you think will make your life better that you want to buy because you think they will, they will make your life better and I'm reading through this list <laughs> and they said uh, the first thing was um, a fancy set of what? loungewear a fancy set of loungewear I'm like ah. uh, because I had just ordered a, a, a fancy set of loungewear <laughs> And then uh, the second thing was a piece of kitchen equipment that you think is going to change your life. And I'm like, oh, what about now? But I've been waiting for 12 months. <laughs> so the alternative to that is what you can do to actually make your life better. And the alternative to buying a piece of equipment, like kitchen equipment, which does it all, is to find fun recipes that will not require fancy equipment i'm like oh well, now i want my smack <laughs> so i went out and got my smack so it's a box in a box which came in a box so the color that i chose was not necessarily the color that i actually really 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 wanted 
I just chose it to add variety to my life. So I hope I will like it over time and not and not regret having chosen this color. So inside is the manual, intricate packaging, nice uh, to keep it nice and secure. It's it's the stick blender, stick blender. It comes with the whisk. -ish. There's a whisk and I guess the main thing is the stick. There it is. Aish, Mara, this snake is so small. The logo is so small. It's a, it's a poster, you know. <laughs> so here's my snake blender. For some, for some reason, everyone thought I'm going to make smoothies or I'm buying to make smoothies. And that's not necessarily the case. I'm not much of a smoothies person. I do love smoothies, but I've never really thought about smoothies. But if that happens, that I make smoothies, then yay. But basically, this is for... To enhance my cooking <laughs> and to make my cooking life better and i hope that i will like it over time i don't like buying fancy equipment especially in the kitchen because they create clutter and as a minimalist i don't want um, a kitchen that is so cluttered uh, i've been trying to move from that um, and getting in things that i actually really want and things that i will want over and over again um, um i read a post somewhere wrote it down okay happiness hap, happiness happiness is not having what you want but it is wanting what you have so i hope that after all this time i have what i wanted but to be truly happy is to want to use this item and all the other items that i've bought and everything else that i have is to want them over and over again because then i won't feel like going back to the shops and buying something similar or something that is um, approved by Twitter. <laughs> so yeah, this is my snack unboxing. So yeah, thank you for watching. But before I go, I want to give a shout out. Today is my nephew's birthday. So happy birthday, puppy. <laughs> I hope you know how much I love you. And I hope um, this year brings you many, many, many happy moments. And thank you so much for watching this video. What do you think about these purchases of mine? Um, thanks. Bye.